Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Ballet Brand. This is actually my second take uh, because I have a new webcam. I don't know if anybody can see, but I'm not using the internal webcam. I'm using a external 1080p. Uh, so in this video, what I want to be talking about is, you know, for for crying out loud, we live in the 21st century, right? We've got a smartphone technology that literally is a computer in our pocket. And I remember uh, being in third grade was when I, you know, luckily I had this opportunity, right? But um, I had a, a computer in my room and I was always, uh, any anything that I like didn't know about, instead of just being like, oh, I'm not interested in that, I would always want to learn about it and then move on. That way, if that topic or that subject or that thing ever came up in the future, I wouldn't have, you know, my, my curiosity would be satisfied because now I've learned and I know. And so I said all that to say that um, a lot of the questions sometimes in, in my chat room on say live streams or Richard's chat that I was watching today and helping moderate. Um, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of those questions, and it's not like they don't have the opportunity, right? Because they're using the tool to chat there. Um, but a lot of these questions that are being asked, I get that they're new, um, can be Googled within you know, five seconds and you can have your answer literally in five seconds. And so I wanna encourage people, cause I've been here before too, but um, asking that question was already half the battle. Uh, but the other half is just, where are you asking it, right? Are you asking it in the, uh, you know, the right area in an arena, right? So for a lot of the, the questions, say some of them I saw today were like, Hey, is uh, is Pulse Chain launched yet? And we're gonna we're gonna try and dial in this camera. Um, but is Pulse Chain launched yet? Well, guess what? I, I know sometimes people want to hear an official answer, right, from the leader or from someone that's respected. But when something that can be you know Googled and, and found out so quickly, um, you know, gets asked many many times in the chat, then it almost pollutes the opportunity for those individuals that have well thought out questions and that have answered a lot of their initial curiosity and questions uh, via Googling. And so Richard talks about, hey, you know, he says like, hey, you want, like you guys want me to have better answers and uh, a more entertaining live stream. And he was saying directly to the chat, which I agree with, which is like, well, you guys need to ask guys and gals I need to ask uh, better questions and the quality of the answer can only be as detailed and as good pretty much as, as the quality of the question. And so I see it a lot and that's something that I've learned myself too, right? Sometimes we uh, take for granted, you know, these technologies that we have. And so one thing that I've learned recently is, hey, sure, we've got social media and I'm taking my own advice, but sure we have a social media and it's cool to, to feel like we've got friends and like we've got some sort of importance, but, but instead of me using that for just a one layer, you know, like a one track type of thing, I'm going to use it for creating and, and teaching, right? Other people have things that they're, uh, you know, qualified at, that they're skilled at, that they're passionate about. And so maybe instead of watching because I used to watch entrepreneurship videos for like over five years. And I always told myself, I always said, hey, you know, I, I despise movies and and I don't like watching sports, which I've, I've always been that way. But it's like, well, what are you doing then, Bran? And it's like, oh, you know, all I do is watch YouTube videos. But I was convincing myself I was doing something because I was watching videos of of other people doing things and of other people succeeding. And so even though it might have been better than nothing per se, it's still that opportunity of like, hey, man, you know, do you want to uh, ask Richard, you know, if you have the opportunity to ask Richard Hart, the founder of SciVive, uh, a billionaire, right? The, the, the world's in the future, he's the world's richest man. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so he's created SciVive, uh, Hex, and now Pulse Chain. You know, do you want to take that opportunity to ask him when, when Pulse Chain's launching or what the bonding rate's going to be or things like this that might be able to be directed, even if you don't wanna do it to Google, right? 
it might be even better directed towards, say, the Telegram. And shout out to Papa B, to Scotty, to Walrus, uh, for everyone that is, you know, fielding questions, that is uh, helping educate and teach those that are in Hacks, that are in Pulse Chain, that are just coming on board. Uh, because those kinds of things that they're doing, they're not something that you can just Google. And so most of their, you know, Google or their curiosities, what they heard first, kind of led them to the Telegram room. And so I just want to encourage people that, you know, if you have that opportunity and, and you realize that it gets wasted because the outcome is not what you wanted, well, then the only thing that we can really do is, you know, educate ourselves and, and almost have like a responsibility as a viewer. When I go through, when I mentioned, right, that I'm not answering direct messages anymore, that I'm not uh, engaging for the most part in, in comments on my channel, it's because not only are they not scalable, right? My one click to like or to, to start typing, that only responds to one person. Um, but a lot, of the, a lot of the questions sometimes, they're you know, easily answered for just a one or two minute uh, search at most. And the thing that's really cool, it would be different if we, you know, here's what I think is, it would be different if people didn't have the tools and the resources and if, if Hex was new like it was two years ago. But now we, we've got hexnoob.com. We've, uh, we've got really good Pulse Chain websites too that I'll remember for the next time. Um, but they're just things to think about because you want to be respectful to yourself, right? Your time that you are watching and participating you want to be respectful to you know, the person that you're asking that question to or that you're participating with, right? Whether it's Richard, me, um, but then also you want to be respectful to your peers. How many times do you see sometimes uh, a redundant question that was something that was previously answered, but the person that had asked that redundantly, maybe they weren't listening, so they didn't hear the moment that it was answered. So that's pretty much all I have. The first take was a little bit better. But uh, once again, just use the tools uh, for, for bettering yourself, right? Because um, I've taken advantage and I've consumed uh, so much with these tools. And I've realized, okay, man, like if I want to better myself, if I want to help others and educate others with whatever experience and skills I might have, then I need to change what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's pretty much all I have. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, feel free to let me know what you think of the quality. It's just a, a webcam that I've actually had for a little while, but it's got a more wide uh, frame. And at my old my old studio and the girlfriend's old apartment, that wider frame would would doxed. You know, so I didn't want to do that. I was just using the uh, internal webcam for the longest part. But now we're back to the the 1080p, a little bit more crisp. I can see. Nice and uh, you know rosy cheeks and things like that. So uh, hopefully it's a good experience for everyone. Uh, every single day is an opportunity for us to grow, for us to learn, um, to almost have like a reset. Uh, not every single day is going to be perfect. Uh, nothing in life really is perfect, right? That is almost a, a fallacy within itself. And so I just uh, encourage everyone to strive to do your best. I talk about writing down daily goals or things that you want to accomplish. Because if you just think about them or you just talk about them, then that's one form of say energy, right? Or or like effort that you're doing to, to accomplish what you want to do. But then actually putting any sort of action aside from just talking about it uh, makes all the difference in the world for rolling that snowball down the hill and for getting what you truly want. So that's all I really have. Thank you everyone. And I'll see everyone on the next video.